I will give two minutes, two to five minutes, just to go through the syllabus because those those who are in online, since I couldn't send because I had to open Telegram group or channel. So online students, uh, just uh, open uh, the history optional syllabus, right? In, uh, in your uh, uh, Google search, just to put it history optional syllabus, just to go through because it's a first thing related to thing is if you look at the history optional, many are thinking it's a very high of this. So go through that because whatever you are going to study in the GS, the same part is there in the optional. That's a first let us break these kinds of uh, uh, myth. So first of all, if your students look at this, immediately they consider, sir, big, yes. You look at this, whatever we studied, going to study in GS, the same thing. The same kind, uh, since already three to four batches I already entered of this, even we have started the modern Indian history, even some of the batch almost completed, right? So online student just to open uh, in Google because I can't send. Uh, today let's create a channel, uh, the group let us create it, right? Uh, in that let us interact with this. So do one thing, just to send a telegram text uh, to me, this is my number, you also, I will give you a for seat, right? Just note down my number. 89399192 so with your name and sent sent this uh, in telegram right so that i can easily add it Those who are here, I will ask uh, Tami or a four seater. Rende or moon at the door, a Because at least in the case of GS, I have to discuss some of the portion new, but optional wise, we can't, no need to discuss anything of a new topic. Everything what we are going to discuss in the GS topic, here we are going to discuss just uh, 2 hours 30 minutes, a general idea. Unlike in the case of GS, where I forced to give some of the factual, but here we don't want the factual thing, just an idea. Right, so first we look at into the syllabus. Second, how the questions are being asked, previous questions. And the next thing is, right, how answer writing mode. These three things will be discussed. So only thing you will bother about is the syllabus. That's why every time, when start this, go through the syllabus, then yourself will come to know it's 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 a all. Since I already told history is a pure static subject, that's why I told. If first it is not defined, not defined in the syllabus, they can't ask such a questions. So every topic shall be asked only from this. There is no hidden topic. That's why if you look at history geography, both are static parts. That's the reason. They are asking, uh, they have given the syllabus at beginning itself. There you can't go for number, name and number. One, two, and three. Right? So this is what. Do one thing. Take paper two first. Because... From Thursday onwards, we are straight away going to discuss from the paper two of this because in GS, since anyone outside uh, Shankar Academy, GS wise, I go Balara. Right, because I am going to take modern history, post independent consolidation, even some of the batches, art and culture classes of this. These are all Paka GS topic of this. So, always I will start with the modern Indian history of this. So, and the next thing is, Thursday onwards, we will discuss how the world history topic. That's paper two. Straight away, go through the syllabus of modern history. Paper one, we'll discuss a little later.
So if you just to go through all the topic is whatever we are going to discuss in GS portion because in GS modern history how did I derive the syllabuses? There is no derivation of sub syllabus in GS. How did I derive syllabuses from each topic of of modern history from optional only I have given. That's why what is the first unit coming of Europeans. Second unit is the later Mughal. Third fourth is this British expansion. Here, if you look at that third unit will come here, Marathas, under the leadership of which people? Peshwas. Same kind of topics will be discussed. And the next thing is the early structure. That's what regulating a charter act. So topic is one and the same. There is no difference with this. Then the economic system in that land revenue system, Rayatwari, Mahalwari, commercialization of agriculture. How could I take uh, what is important, what is not important? Because I forced to take only from here. Because otherwise I don't know. No one knows which is important for GS. Because in GS history, they simply given Indian history, right? From ancient to modern times, that's all. With this, how could I derive syllabus? Even for explanation of such syllabus, we discussed for hours uh, because of here. That's what, in the case of history, the thing is, it's like more or less GS. Already criticism came much earlier itself. Already you have kept a lot of portion in GS itself. Then why are you again giving the things in optional? Even sometimes you can't answer GS question, but you can easily answer optional question from world history and modern history. So don't bother about the syllabus wise and other thing. Right, syllabus seems to be the things because they have given this is what, if you write down the syllabus of this, run that itself, you can answer a 15 mark. Themselves have given, narrated everything. For example, let me tell one thing. Syllabus might have been easy. How? When the syllabus is given, land revenue settlement. That's all over. But what they have given in that land revenue settlement, they elaborated what one? Permanent settlement, Rayatwari and what? Mahalwari. If it is not given of this, easiest syllabus. Otherwise, why should we give? The syllabus, no need to give. Only syllabus is what? Economic impact. Over. What economic impact? What to study? Got it? So, don't bother about the syllabus, sir. Big, sir. Yes, because of they explained it. If you just reproduce the syllabus, that itself is a 10 mark question. So, this is the first thing. So, no need to bother. If syllabus is big, big, tough subject, syllabus is easy, easy subject. It's a first uh, wrong thing. Not it. If you look at that today itself, let me tell you everything of this, right? Right from paper two, if you look at this, every subject, optional subject consists of, since it is my uh, last uh, orientation, you would have attended of other things. Right, every subject consists of two paper, correct? Paper one and paper two. If you wish, you note down. Right, paper one consists of section A. Section A, section B. What is section A is ancient. Better to write this, ancient. Section B is medieval. Section B is medieval. And uh, paper 2, afternoon session. Again, section A and uh, section B. Section A is modern history. And section B is world history. So, question shall be asked only in this manner. They can't ask world history in anywhere. They can't ask ancient history anywhere. So, syllabus is they will ask question in a particular manner alone. There is no open-ended cross question can ever be asked. Application from, for example, ancient history application in world. Ancient na, section A, all the question will start ancient. Section B na, what question? Medieval. This is one of the greatest thing. No need of application. First paper it will be included in second paper. That's why I'm telling no need of that things. You have to thinkers like this, like this. Ancient is always ancient. And how is about the structure, morning paper, paper one, afternoon is what? Paper two. If you look at that, 
every paper consists of how many questions eight questions so paper 1 consists of eight paper 2 consists of eight question among the eight question you have to answer only how many five questions let me tell how the questions will be asked go on right if you don't have an idea about the structure that's what pure static section you know they will ask strictly ask which topic ancient so no need to bother at it how the questions will be asked under section a 1 2 3 4 four question and 5 6 7 8 medieval that's all if you go to the morning how many question eight question will be there right first four question strictly from which part ancients 5 to 8 strictly from what medieval this is one of the greatest thing you no need to bother this part will be asked that this is a biggest issue in other things what issue application everything will be asked in first paper to be written second no need to bother first paper over that's all second paper that's different got it and one more advantage of this even in geography they reduce the map but history first question is map 50 mark so descriptive part is very less in the case of paper 1 because first question is what map earlier it the geography they had it now in geography itself they reduced ancient map is which map is strictly ancient map so 50 uh, marks is based on what one map highly if you prepared well within 25 to 30 minutes you can all sub mark the place or identify the place you will be saved a great time in paper 1 maximum i will concentrate on map because nothing to discuss openly to say all will be in gs akbar here also akbar uh, maurya here also maurya and uh, gs wise 42 class 40 class no here another 40 class all together 75 to 80 class same portion but we will discuss akbar how could you write akbar in different perspective for example what akbar did gs akbar good ruler or bad ruler analysis here la i would not give year nothing will be there views different analysis narration analysis narration analysis and even in prelims gs itself we are discussing main science writing method am i right here 100% main science writing what keyword shall be there that my duty to thus first question is what question map complete a ancient and 5 6 7 what one medieval likewise paper 2 also 1 2 3 and 4 right first strictly modern 5678 7 strictly world history so cross application la inga velaye kedaiyadu there is no other go of this maurya na maurya da right alavadin gilji na gilji no need to mix with this some what some student would say it right uh, if the question is asked kadavala gilji na they try to compare by themselves with maurya maurya administration was alavadin was like this upsc will not ask question got it so no need to bother because lot of myth and uh, misconception is there among the students regarding this this is morning session this is evening next how the mode of answer writing here eight question you have to answer how many question five carefully look at that here how you have to choose the question is one question number 1 and 5 compulsory there itself 1 and 5 compulsory question well history la this is very basic ibrudha irukum will be like this only thing we have to study little wider topic since it is given once you studied when you go enter the exam structure oda we can go with the structure of fifth question 5 1 ka first question i have to answer compulsory got it so out of five question how many questions are compulsory two there is no other go right remaining how many question you have to answer three you can choose any way 
you can choose any way provided that keep it in mind minimum this is already compulsory for example from here you must take at least one question apart from which question first for example you took third question okay so one question answer remaining two question you can take it from where medieval no sir i am not interested in medieval here itself three and four i answer means one question is enough from where medieval apart from question number five choice is yours except first and fifth question you can't see in other optional in what would you have it sometimes questions may shift sometimes compulsory is different no need to bother about this got it the same pattern is applicable in part 2 uh, paper 2 also which questions are compulsory 1 and 5 are compulsory remaining thing minimum one from each side then another one from your wish but any kind of question you can take it remaining six you can take any kind of questions this is a structure so syllabus is static question is static map point is there map point now they will not ask present there are two fixed places are there do you know ancient mohanjodaro harappa that two are the fixed they will not ask random today's district or village and they will not never ask it nearly nearly uh, 400 uh, uh, 300 to 400 from that only you have touch just right got it so this is what of uh, paper 1 and uh, paper 2 got it so anything else to be this is the structure of this and uh, regarding books any doubt regarding pattern of exam no next regarding books mark it ah uh, yes ah uh, sub questions will be there now let me tell one thing how about the sub question here is listen in i hope you know that what is the maximum mark of each paper 250 each paper consists of 250 of this right how the sub questions for example if you take a right it will be split into a b and c how the pattern till the date they are asking is here a is 20 mark b is 20 mark c is 10 mark 
ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एंड वाट टेन नो नो राइट लिटिल विजिबली बिकॉज आई डोंट हैव दैट्स वे आई मेंशनिंग यू डोंट राइट लाइक दिस सो ईच ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टेन सपोज इफ द नॉट आस्क्ड इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टेन मींस हाउ दे आस्क्ड मींस फिफ्टीन सॉरी फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी all to the the permutation combination what is uh, mark do ya yeah, gosti 50 this is only two pattern they can ask question 20 20 what 10 are 15 15 and what 20 got it this is what the sub maximum how you have to manage is 10 mark na two page not down 10 mark two page 15 mark 3 page they will provide 15 20 mark 4 page they will provide but you no need to fill up the entire thing what is the words uh, in gs itself they would have told right what is the 10 mark 150 words idha konja mana pan manikam please by heart these things this is all essential of 10 mark na 150 words but in optional you can write up to 175 One seventy-five allowed. So GS typically one fifty, na twenty-five words. Right, the fifteen mark question two fifty words. So at here two seventy-five words. Fifteen mark two seventy-five words, and twenty mark twenty mark three hundred words here three twenty-five words. So keep it in mind. Word limit is important, not which limit, page limit, because some of the student would write very small. even one page they will able to write 175 words no need to bother another page for a 10 mark question you just scratch it and, and go on to the next question no sir i have not fill the paper not necessarily this is a biggest issue every upsc aspirant is facing word limit and not what limit page limit got it even sometimes out of 175 words If you able to satisfy the examiner by one twenty or one thirty words, much more enough. But normally we would not ask them to just confine. You write little relevant matter also. Got it? Let me show. Let me show one of the paper. Then you will come to know because I am discussing just a theoretical matter. This is what subdivision of this. Got it? And one more thing, if you come to this compulsory question, could you say compulsory question? Here fifty mark two three and four twenty twenty pattern one and five wise five ten mark question here one and five wise how many ten mark question five ten mark question let me show this year uh, main set sir uh, sorry last year main set sir let me show the history optional paper you just to go through how could answer even I will give you mates you try to answer in modern history paper one paper two. because why i am saying is how you have to take a syllabus uh, subjects subject is first syllabus should be known adu purinu then host question shall be known if you go through pa question paper at least second tick third tick if you able to write something from the question that is the best optional for it first syllabus is real nothing is there na whatever the easiness of the syllabus whatever the less portion of the syllabus useless You, how could you study if you don't know the basic of the syllabus? But what's the problem? If you look at the syllabus, if it is known, immediate fear will come. Have you seen this? First fear. If you don't know the syllabus, anything of the things you will consider it's easy. But if you know the syllabus, first fear factor will come. Oh, these things to be studied. That thing. Yourself will stay say that yes, it is already studied, but without knowing that. Got it? Let me show of this. so this is what of the uh, let me show one previous question paper Right. Uh, look at this. Read this question paper one and five are what compulsory. 
out of the remaining three are to be attempted choosing at least one question from each section so instructions are very clear right there are how many question eight questions which consist of two section that's why i told the section a and what section b now you come to this first question is what map how the map mean they will give a place they will mark the place you have to what identify the place this is all very easy how did tamil nadu they divide it and they give what one a place for example you look at this let me show one thing if you look at this here is 9 am i right 9 is marked near kanyagumari how you have to sir here uh, kanyagumari uh, nagargoil no need to because i told i ancient site if you go there hind is given in 9th if you look at the 9th a place of sekam sangam sangam and you know sec first sangam second sangam right what is the second sangam kapadapuram this is the answer here you can't write kanyamuri nagar goil na you should not write <laughs> because this is the way so very easy yeah. first they will mark it with that itself you will come to know maximum three or four places and which for which among the four places for that alone you will get confused for that the hint is given with to go through that you will come to so it is not modern place strictly what places the ancient now let us take one thing uh, take here number 3 number 3 is near where srinagar so jammu is here srinagar right but uh, you can't write srinagar number 3 you go through the number 3 what's number 3 is a neolithic pit dwelling actually two places bursa home gufkaral na there are places it's a very basic thing you have to write the space will be given in 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 booklet itself here neolithic pit wala they have given space in that if you write cha gufkaral na one mark and you have to write description for 20 words how you have to write 20 words means just like hint point yes sir it's near srinagar it's a neolith already given here pit dwelling why pit dwelling na because of severe winter they have you to construct a pit and dwell it here burial practice yes, sir discrete way you have to write this is the main uh, first thing is the the map normally a student will save lot of time in this initially if you have to put nearly 400 places if you study 400 places of this among that only 20 to 25 places will be asked got it so this is what the first first how how many places are is here mark is given could you see the mark how many marks 50 how the 50 by how many places are there here 20 am i right 20 places 50 55 20 na each site uh, marking is what 2.5 mark why one mark is mentioning the right site 1.5 mark is for description got it so one is map is there map analytical historical things that's why no need of complete description and the second i told right 2020 concept you look at that 2a b and what c a 20 here rather than 2010 here what they have been 15 15 could you see 20 15 15 all together if i added how many mark 50 mark here also like this and come to fifth question fifth question always consists of how many uh, subtopic five so ancient first map medieval first question what is that thing section b section b is what medieval easy you dar kon question structure will be like this fifth question na it will be like this how you can see based on that for that if you go to syllabus syllabus which matter na based on the syllabus alone they can ask question for example if you take what were brahmadeya glands right how do account for large number of such a glands sir how could you expect sir fifth a is brahmadeya glands na take the syllabus abdeer gum it's a first unit in the part come to paper 1 
paper 1 how many units are there in paper 1 24 first 12 ancient mark it please online student mark it right since today i can't send it uh, the pdf of that so first 12 what is the 12th unit uh, up to that put a line ancient 13 to 24 is what medieval so 1 to 12 section a 13 to 24 section b mark it mark it right now you look at the question brahmadaya grants right sir how could asked in in the 5a means look at the 13th unit 13th unit land grant there shall be a topic is there a 13th or 14th unit you can see presence of what land grants or agrarian settlement is there uh, agrarian economy got it right and look at this ancient uh, okay leave it 5b if you come to 5b right establishment of large number of urban settlement in north india look at this 750 to 100 la urban settlement in north india separate topic look at that is there a all done this is a question why 5a 5b initial question na it is a initial topic of art medieval syllabus which matta na they can ask question strictly based on syllabus so fifth question unit number which unit 13 5a 5b 13 right next if you come to 5c it will be 14th unit mongol chahalgani system chahalgani system was introduced by iltutmis where is iltutmis unit number 15 order one question can be asked only in the order that's why i repeatedly ask the student first to study the syllabus that's why even for modern whatever the topic first i will start with the syllabus in what manner chronology syllabus of string na history optional over that's why right if you study this 90 is 50% is over because you know it yourself will study problem syllabus padikiradam big you may consider big that's all no not suitable that's all almost done today itself i have done this kinds of work and uh, what is the last unit in medieval 18th century right 18th century is there in that could you see aurangzeb decline of mughal is there this is what aurangzeb deccan policy because aurangzeb died in which year 17 not 7 last mughal ruler was which person aurangzeb that's it eighth question that it question can be asked only in order okay now i come to this is a paper 1 right consist of eight question among that you can study now let me let us take paper 2 section a section b section a is what part modern section b is world those who attended my class yourself can answer by one year go through professor yes no bachelor plus he what it was a skirmish skirmish na why it was decided before the battle who betrayed so it is a battle just betrayal betrayal skirmish skirmish na just fist fight not a real fight but which was the real battle boxer why War na one side three rulers, other side who? That is comparison. You tell me a question. What's the second treaty of Amrit Sir? Was a significant was political effect. This is related to Raja Ranjit Singh. Do you know Raja Ranjit Singh? Right. Already attended GS class will come to know. This is what is third one. Famine war not just because of food scarcity, but the direct result of colonial which policy? Economic. Which economic policy? Jamindari, Malwari, things, and one more commercialization of agriculture. All that. In these words alone, we need. 
got it next is the santhal uprising penetration of outsider while discussing about uh, santhals uh, causes of the tribe one of the main causes is what outsiders who are the outsider zamindars merchant well, the answer got it and that's why i told uh, gs students modern era i would not discuss much about that because 15 classes will be discussed in where itself uh, gs itself here the small small nuances for example this amritsar i will discussing about ranjit singh i will discuss which one treaty of amritsar i will not discuss raja ranjit singh here in optional straight amritsar will be discussed so that's why i already told some of the batches other batches now i had to enter of this we will tell the same thing right and look at that the 2b what is the 2b permanent settlement and the third is what western education topic here is different uh, western education english language system there we studied charles woods tevela how western education system 1835 who introduced western education system mekale after that some of the commission that's all then you have to analysis western education system a harbinger of culture awakening or instrument of colonial hegemony two question so it is western education led to socio religious reform and cultural awakening or it is a instrument of hegemony hegemony in imperialism western education imperialism british imperialism are good for us social reformation this is the answer right and two sila already things after acquiring what divani right from whom shalam to correct so this is what how did they act as a indian ruler this is which government system dual government system not it let us continue our classes after that next two months later mains question will come yourself will answer by the time for all the batches i would have completed modern and here i would have completed world because from thursday onwards we are straight away going to take world history because modern in gs world history in optional right next month paper 2 is over for all the batch but that's why i told for some of the batches they think now it's better to study modern history because batch 1 batch 2 batch 3 almost batch 1 started batch 2 batch 3 almost going to complete of this for other batches this month i will complete batch 4 next to be converts batch 5 and 6 i'll come and complete it so by august month what is our agenda of the class means in gs completion of what modern history in optional completion of world history option artha onnu kediyadu what to discuss i have to discuss with some of the example from the present thing But GS alone, I have to give particular fact. Otherwise, option wise, I am right. Four option, it will go wrong. Option alone, no need of the particular fact analysis. If you write some of the fact, exactly not correct, not at all a problem. But what's the problem is even discussing with batch one student. In in history wise, in GS we are discussing lot of fact. Many are thinking that the same will be you have to write in optional also. This is the biggest. But other optional wise, major things are taken only in optional alone. That are not discussed in GS. So you are studying little factual as well as analytical, double the benefit. Why not? So attend all the 40 classes in GS. Here 70 to 80 classes. How many classes? 120 classes. What work you are going to do? Valley death. There is no other go for you people. Everything will be revealed. There, ancient India, I will not come, but here, ancient India will be discussed, both fact as well as what? Analytical. There, SAR will come, if you... Right. He will discuss the matter in different, if you get it, double the benefit. What else? After attending 120 classes, what you are going to do? Your work club over. That's all. This is what 
about right now here here today only i discuss british rule had differential impact on indian society described in that way indian responded to which revolt 1857 revolt got it and some topics are post independence also it's a it's like a political mcmohan line india china relationship what you see because these things we will discuss in gs itself not only in modern india which topic is also there post independent post independence is gs pure gs optional post independence is small topic but gs post independence is very big topic right and come to the five if you look at this first day onwards we will discuss these kinds enlightenment french law marx so why sir rousseau and marx are given means go through the go to second paper uh, come to second paper second paper consists of how many topic if 27 in that unit number 1 to unit number 12 what is the 12th unit ha huh? at one next unit kansal first 12 unit modern history market first 12 modern history 13 14 is post independence 14 next to a 3 unit 3 unit next 3 unit is post independence if you look at the post independence post independence na indira gandhi period na narasimha rao period na nehru period look at the syllabus only up to which period nehru syllabus is very narrow name is the post independence it's enough to study from 1947 to 1964 mark it got it yes so uh, this is what right this is what uh, about then now come to the 7 16th 17th amrit 16th uh, 16th onwards world east so from thursday onwards we will study first unit what is the first unit in world history enlightenment go through what are the enlightenment uh, people which people rousseau then kant then marx that's why look at that i a is rusa because question can be asked only through that first unit the first question second unit the subsequent that's why i'm saying syllabus if you study thoroughly you will tell what is the question number 8 yourself will tell what is the last topic look at this in world history soviet union and the rise of now straight to come to 8 and look at this right could you see the non alignment where is non alignment third world nation could you see third world nation unit number 23 unit number 23 what is there non alignment and 7b look at that disintegration of which country Yes, sir. Last of them, they can ask. They can ask only in the last. So strictly based on the 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 question. And could you see apartheid? Could you find the word apartheid? Twenty four. Why this is the last question means? Because topics are last. So th- study thoroughly. You will tell what question, what topic will be asked in which. Now the solely which are you? Fifth question, na I will answer this. Seventh question, na I will do this. I am going to. If you are going to leave any topic, na I will leave the six. Six la what can be asked? Middle question. What are all the middle question? American Revolution or French? Could you see that? 
middle topic industrial revolution right world war 1 if i don't like then you can easily skip it that's why i will always start with the syllabus strictly with the syllabus and there ancient medieval we discussed 20 15 15 but world is to look at the 20 20 what 10 ka termination combination is 20 15 15 or 20 20 what 10 mana parama nikanga by heart it just by heart these things okay, because please do these kinds of little framework right then definitely you will get it so without knowing the right many people are just confusing with the syllabus of this the things history you can study everything from where itself syllabus itself syllabus itself is like a thing today itself do one thing take two or three copies paste it wherever you spend maximum time i hope you understood what i'm trying to say not <laughs> it so one of the blessed is the thing because no topic is what hidden yeah the getanga other getanga sir how is it where is the syllabus no need to search searching the syllabus topic is biggest issue but here highly avoided but what happens syllabus week na that's also backfire right now come to book what is the book for modern is spectrum is more than enough how to study spectrum for optional subject is if you look at the spectrum inside black color box will be there so many people quotation will be there he told like this he told like this for us it is important don't want fact the summary 1660 coming of european 1670s he came this incident none of our business summary la none for for us no need to help robert clive said this statement for example anyone do have a spectrum book here quotations and understanding could you see here jawahar lal nehru nationalist power to stir up the discontent would be immense increase if far no need to reproduce as such you have to understand this is important for us could you see how many people's view uh, in the newspaper could you see that uh, open uh, things are editorial these things are important for us they will as such don't uh, uh, study these kinds of factual like information for us it is none of our business we don't want 1600 this happened the submarine have you seen this don't study of this questions love here highly visible yeah completely visible of this let me tell okay while coming to the optional class i will always bring ask you to bring the book from that only will mark how questions will be asked so no need to purchase any other book because what i am discussing in gs modern india as well as optional is from optional book every explanation will be given so modern over if you want one more thing 12th uh, ncert teams 3 these two books are gs book purchase it everyone would have purchased team 3 no, because team 1 is ancient team 2 is medieval team team 3 is what modern much more enough next come to world history next week wednesday or thursday i will give book material will be given that material world history wise optional material up to world war up to 1900 what i am going to give that is a only source okay first two days you leave it right because it's uh, going for uh, public uh, book printing it will little take time next week by thursday or wednesday you will be given book whenever i say books are available go and purchase now you have to go to first floor first floor with your receipt and show it receive the book and put signature for online student we will give the link google form you have to fill it it will be automatically sent to your address within 4 to 5 days 
from the receipt of the book here. Got it? And so up to 1900 is this. Then which book you have to for reference is from 1900 onwards, purchase Norman Lowe. Norman Lowe, L-O-W-E. Please order now itself and purchase because non-availability. Even GS students themselves started to purchase this book. Biggest issue of the book is this is the only world history book as of now available in world market. Others are material. So please order now itself. In case, if you decide or means today itself, you order, let me tell one or two more book. Because even GS students start preparation of this. Only in Delhi it is available. In Chennai it's difficult. Immediately purchase from bookmark. Otherwise, if not available, wait for two days. It's not there. Order it. So, Spectrum you would purchase. Would have purchased. One more book you have to purchase is what? Norman Lo. Next, come to ancient. Ancient wise, 11th NCRT. Sorry, 12th NCRT, theme 1. Theme one, uh, new version, you would have purchased for GS. One more reference book is Upinder Singh. Upinder Singh, it's a super book, little bulky book. Let me tell how to answer, how to make, because whenever classes are being taken, I will ask you to bring the book. What to study, what not to study, everything we will mark it. This book is also a big little demand of this. That's why. Once for all, you purchase the book. Don't wait for the classes to come Then later purchase. Na, it will be at that time not available. Biggest issue. Yeah. Because lot of people, thousands of people are preparing for history optional of this across India. Demand iron. Once optional classes started elsewhere, non-available book. Otherwise, what they will do? More demand, na, they will increase price. Got it? This is much more enough. It is all reference book. You have to keep it. Right. No need to study top to bottom. Right. And one book for medieval is J.L. Mehta. J.L. Mehta, volume one. So I'm strictly saying a small book will be there. Volume one alone you purchase. Remaining thing I will, second is institute material. I will give. Number two is I will give material. So, our two material, one is world history, another is medieval volume two, uh, sorry, material. What is the reason mean? In this aspect alone, you don't have one source. Remaining wise, you do have, we do have what? Single source. Got it? So, please try to order now itself and uh, purchase these things. All our reference book again and again saying, don't need to study from line to cover, including spectrum also. This is the material and book you have to be there. Then we daily come, we will discuss once in a week or once in two weeks, you will have test. Okay, a small portion is over. Let us have a test a weekend. Once five classes are over, six classes are over, just 30 marks, 40 marks test. Followed by discussion. Let's have. Right. And next, related to class. How the class mean? First 20 plus class is strictly, uh, strictly world history. The first 20, even if to go 22 plus or 23 plus class. Once world history is over, in between we would have completed what? Modern. Next is data. After that, ancient. I will start with the paper one ancient. 20 glass. And then medieval. This is structure. Fourth, modern history. Why September month or October month we will start mains optional perfect modern history. By the time for all the batches we would have completed what portion? Modern history in GS. There are 15 classes. Here I will tell 10 plus. 10 plus classes. So 25 classes exclusively order. order. Next, PIC. PIC is pure GS portion. 
within bracket six classes or seven classes all attend in where yes that's so, all that's why actually optional la maximum 75 to 80 class remaining is 40 classes is where things no need to bother about this that's why repeatedly i am saying that no need a 100 class 120 classes here easiest to a here straight i will not discuss abc la how to answer writing because already you know the concept and last art and culture art and culture because in some of the batches i will handle in some of the batches i will not handle so i will take art and culture here it's six classes six classes so yeah 20 plus no not just two, even another two to three classes will come so tentatively we will end our we will wind up this even if you start from august 1 you leave 27 28 august september october november right november end because minimum four classes a week okay what four classes a day monday to friday till november end don't give it to anyone 5:30 to 8 dedicate to here don't go to any of the things you are, you are fixed what it you are completely fixed please go don't go off this because right i we have to complete by november end of this if something is there one week up to december 8 you have reserve because always sometimes uh, natural issues these kinds will come right up to december december not one and a half week 10 more days let us keep it after that attend csat classes things right and already told those who are attending optional now if you are simultaneously attending csat if the csat classes are just for 10 classes na please inform to me at least let us make an arrangement so that you can uh, uh, attend later part and those who are attending right optional classes please don't attend csat as of now three class le irukka mudiyadu morning up to 1:30 gs 2:30 csat then 5:30 optional out 8 o'clock you will go there then again morning <laughs> you would never study any subject don't do these things at it these things i would like to because we would have told the first thing in the admission stage itself that i strictly because for and of months if you study na thoroughly you concentrate history in gs now it's like a gs part okay because for and of months you have to travel with me 5:30 to 8 o'clock daily how to see my face since you need energy on the uh, to 1:30 to 5:30 uh, take little rest am right little rest fresh you come there 5 o'clock 5:30 na exact 5:15 arrive here by 5:15 right because class will be exactly over by 8 o'clock maximum 8:00 da we will not extend of this so try to come at 5:15 or 5:20 itself 5:30 let's start the class sharp right this is from my side just to ask anything online today many are attending from online i think so because of uh, little error na ela melt airvinga aru and one more thing if you decided to attend please come from the first day itself and uh, if you want to get benefit right completely come and uh, the things till my last class then you criticize our price me relate not only me my subject also don't miss any of the day dibavli sir whatever it is non availability of uh, things come anyhow online facilities will be given but don't use the online facility for take it for granted even online student also as far as possible try to come offline the rest of rare you attend it test na as far as possible better to write in offline you will get first hand information and last is we will create a group i hope all have written the names right let me create a group right 
and i will send important so that if any of the communication uh, you can communicate with me also channels means we can't that me eludile no non as pass pass it in english right and pass it to others right uh any doubt a uh, second batch start second batch is weekend batch first batch is weekdays second batch is what one weekend because working students are lot of students are there always my first batch weekdays second batch is weekend december first week onwards second batch will be started uh weekend morning 9 to 1 o'clock or morning 8:30 to 1:30 uh 1230 will be there december and till april end till april end it will be there because it's a four and a half months right weekend two days will be there for our classes will be till uh, april last sir if you don't want to remember all the countries all the in optional that's why even in gs if don't want mean in optional no need of this right major plus e buxer even if you look at that themselves have given the year am i right batla plus e themselves have given what buxer then if not if important mean they would have respected our rec record to write the year but themselves have given at it so any other because now ah yes what's a drawback the syllabus that's what morning i am discussing with that sir syllabus edta it's a very big consider i closed it this is only drawback from my things and it is a static first time you have to study what lot that's a only thing that's why repeatedly i am saying of that if you look at the history option na first drawback and only thing is what syllabus everyone used to say sir very vast syllabus is vast yes why they elaborated everything in at least i have to send request letter to upsc no no neengala elaborate panadinga don't elaborate let the student elaborate <laughs> if the student think now a single word for example here if you look at this uh, uh syllabus economic history of india uh, then it's over then student will consider it's easy so because this is what our mindset uh, let's follow accordingly no it's it's over <laughs> got it european penetration british expansion then everyone would look at this is a syllabus no everyone would elaborate on this any other because uh, Uh, my student and one of the earliest student my first attempt in uh, first attempt itself she uh, entered into service right now working in uttar pradesh initially allotted mathi pradesh cadre after uh, entered into uttar pradesh cadre uh, 2014 batch student riva jan is waiting so if you have any of the doubt because next time passing on mic to uh, her she will appear from up Regarding marks, how would it be supposed to be maximum mark? Yeah, maximum mark is always keep it in mind, right? Out of twenty marks, mean maximum you can get sixty uh, to seventy percent. Sixty means maximum. I am saying sixty means what? Twelve. Extra day you now thirteen marks they will put it. But it does not mean that we received the top wise up to sixty percent, sixty five percent. If you have extraordinary thing, even you can get seventy percent also. 
60 percent to 65 is considered to be good very good score uh, 300 la easily scoreable of this it depends every year change 2018 la 317 i ourselves have the things 317 306 of this one year 257 itself is highest mark because don't consider that every year you have to score 300 because they are doing what one moderation don't consider that every year everyone must get uh, every optional subject must get 300 la. it depends on that sometime getting last year la, this year and last year if you got in any score 275 great score 290 top score but some year 350 top score That's why I used to say every subject is scorable. It does not mean that. Then I will ask which subject is highly scorable. If you are asking history is not scorable, which subject is scorable? If it is there, everyone would have taken this. Good. Anyhow, it's my duty to answer. Any other? Yes. Optional. In optional, keep it in mind, social religious reform movement is small. In GS alone, you have to study what? Lot. That's why, because in optional, they are very specific. Student cannot study every moment. The three or four are enough. But GS wise, you no need to narrate. Who was the founder? What is the moment name? That's why in GS, you have to study lot. Optional less. Correct. Likewise, revolt, everything is also uh, less. Sir, how will CSAT be scheduled? Scheduler, rescheduler, I don't know of this. Normal law, fifth edition, latest edition. Always uh, present, always purchase latest edition. So, how will CSAT be scheduled or rescheduled? Please text me. Since I have already given my uh, number, uh, those who entered into little late, again, let me tell my number. This is my number. Please, these kinds of matter, text to me. 199 Please text to me. We will look into that. So, how many batches are there for history optional? That's why Priya Kumari, I told that. Right, uh, in this this weekday batch, December onwards, weekend batch, early two. So please see the syllabus screen again. I hope uh, I got the link. Sir, I can't answer. Okay, almost done. Yes, reschedule. Reschedule wise, if you wish to reschedule means just to send uh, your name, your CI unique number and your phone number. If you want to reschedule, I will inform to the admission office and give a day. Let me uh, do it. So that Thursday onwards, you can straight away come to the optional by skipping the CSAT. So those who wish to reschedule means name, CI unique and uh, phone number. Almost, I almost done of this. The uh, old or new NCERT. Uh, that's why themes are new NCERT. Not old NCERT. Because nowadays the government started to take uh, questions from new NCERT itself. Last year itself, a lot of questions, optional questions from 11th uh, medieval history. Sir, post independence reference books are there. Yes, post independence re reference book is our institute material. GS material is much more enough. Modern world history only. Yeah, yes, modern world history only. Again and again, I'm saying world history wise, no need to study Greek uh, Roman civilization. Uh, and one more thing, uh, wrong idea about the student is there. World history, you know, right from ancient. Uh, no, only from where? Enlightenment. What is the syllabus? Is 1700s to 1991. Only 200 uh, year old history. Thank you, uh, because I would like to clarify this at the first itself, uh, since I forgot it.
Thank you, Prashant. Right. Regarding preparation, how the answer writing? Right. Regarding that, the better resource person is uh, uh, Reba. Actually, one more thing is engineering student wise, history is not at all uh, the opposite. Actually, she is an engineering student from St. Joseph, I think, right? JPR College. I go, Reba. Correct. So how did she prepare means when she entered into the final year, simultaneously started to prepare. And when she come out of that uh, college, first attempt, he completely, she wrote it and first attempt itself, she cleared. That's a one more myth, which is circulating in Tamil Nadu. In North West, you can't see Tamil Nadu is especially South West engineering student. History is not a suitable subject. I don't know who told these things. White or no, I will not tell lie. Likewise, one wrong thing is going on. It's not suitable. Now. Right. So uh, next uh, uh, few hours, you will be discussing, interacting with this. Right. So, or mic could you give Students, la card mic could you if you have any doubts regarding this, screen la other person change panir. They will appear. Change panir la inge inga fulla change panna interaction. Mm. So first to interact with that, how the preparation? Then you may ask question um, because uh, they are the right person to things because we are in staff level things. They are from students to the service level. They will answer in a better way preparation and uh, other things. So I, Riba. Okay. Uh, one minute. One minute, Riba. Let me let us enable. Good evening, sir. Yes. I'm yes, one minute, Riva. Let, let. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. So. I will one minute, Riva. Let's change yes, this sir. screen sure. also. Yes, sir. One minute. Any of the doubt related to subject or something, please, you can interact. Yes, Riba, thank you. Sir, good evening, sir. Yes. Good evening. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. yes. Sir. Riba, now in Kanpur or? Sir, Lucknow, sir. Lucknow, okay, okay. Sir, okay. sir I am posted as director okay. minority in Lucknow, sir. Okay, okay. Right, Riva. Interact with the students. Yes, sir. I will just give two minutes, sir, introduction. To what I have done to clear the exam, sir. So, you have already given a lot okay. of uh, introduction, sir. But I will just give two minutes. As sir has told, I started my preparation. I am 2009 to 13 batch of uh, engineering. I did engineering, electrical and electronic engineering. And then uh, I started my preparation in the final year. And final year, I did only optional because I didn't have time to do the total preparation. So I just attended history class of sir, uh, sir Murthy, sir. I wrote a history class. I didn't do any other thing because I didn't have much time to attend other class. But I finished my optional except I think modern India. I think except ancient India, yeah, I don't remember. I finished the rest of the history of the, so that was actually a very important point for me to clear my exam in uh, first attempt because optional plays a very important role in your uh, exam because you can score maximum marks in optional. GS may if you cross 100, 110, then it is a big thing for 250. But optional may optional may you can get uh, the, uh, very easily you can get more uh, more than 
story as you have you have to visualize things i think many people would have read pony and selvan and all novels everyone read and everyone likes it so you have to handle history from that point of view if you have some society point of view you have to have bhakti moment how you have to have women participation you, so you should just visualize things and then things becomes very easy and there are a lot of videos which are available in you in youtube and all so try to see some videos also it will be also uh, from french revolution one top one point is french revolution so if you see some videos uh, so it will be very beneficial for you to understand things what happened there so these are some things i wanted to just outline uh, just as a brief so now i think we can go for the question answer session sir if you allow Hello, ma'am. Yes. A good evening, ma'am. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, regarding the main answer writing, and I know about sir's uh, notes. And uh, did you follow exact notes, and did, did you present it in the same manner, or did you add on something? I followed sir's notes. I I clarified before also. I followed sir's note, but sir's note was uh, I think uh, very very uh, it was. He, helpful for me very very helpful for me i followed sir's note but uh, for example uh, sir uh, covered one topic today for example uh, sir covered quit india movement example maybe i am just uh, sir covered quit india movement today so uh, sir even the books was also referred to me by sir only because i was the first newcomer so i didn't have any idea about what upsc is what should we do so books also sir only referred me so what i used to do is uh, today sir ne jo Uh, whatever sir has taken class i used to take notes for one hour i used to go back to home and i used to read the same topic in the bu book uh, medieval india quit india movement so what and all what sir told so i used to see the ncert books me quit india movement what and all things are referred to quit india quit india movement ke related what and all issues are discussed and the same book also ncert press book so i used to make small notes in pencil or pen in the same notes itself i didn't take uh, separate notes in sir notes itself i used to take separate So my quit India moment is complete. My notes is complete at the same date itself. Then next day, sir. Uh, but like one good thing about sir is uh, uh, whenever sir used to take uh, classes the next day, so he used to revise what happened yesterday. So that is that was very good. I used to remember today also, sir used to like what happened. Uh, whenever he used to take medieval India, so years and all, sir used to revise one more thing. So whenever he used to revise, so already I have the notes plus the books and NCERT notes the same book. and then sir ka revise sir used to revise so you have to do that that thing sir notes plus books so you have to follow the same in the answer writing also but you can when if you have said uh, if you have seen the last paper so basically your history questions are basically analytical uh, people think like history because it's factual but is it not factual you have to have the factual knowledge for just understanding the flow but the questions are basically analytical they analyze so you have to have a deep knowledge about things for example they have asked like battle of plassey is just a skirmish and battle of buxar is actually a war so this was a question which i have uh, read in the last uh, year so you have to know why battle of plassey is a skirmish and why battle of buxar is a is not wrong uh, yes i am not wrong what why battle of buxar is a real war what is the difference between battle of plassey and battle of buxar Uh, what things changed after plassey and what things changed after buxar how many people participated in plassey and how many people participated in the buxar so you have to read the question properly so you have to uh, differentiate what actually they they what because battle of buxar had a lot of long impact on the indian history then battle of plassey as everyone knows so that is very important and this question mujhe i i remember that sir discussed me when i was preparing so today i just downloaded because i have a class i downloaded the paper and i was just going through the paper and this question when i was studying sir used to ask this question and it uh, it came in my answers also so answer writing is basically analytical and answer writing skills will improve only when you give repetitive answers you have to give lot of uh, test uh, i remember each and every uh, matlab for medieval for ancient each and everything i i think i gave 10 10 uh, test and then overall be i think i gave more than 5 5 so this much test you should give and answer writing never improves on single day you yeah, have whenever you give you be you keep on giving uh, answers you keep on writing and things improve and you will feel the improvement 
and in history you can give you can put small small tableau column you can put small small maps i used to remember iltumish if someone asked about iltumish iltumish annexation policy or akbar's annexation policy something like that you can put small maps small ek like, uh, this much type of like small paper may quarter if, 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 if it is your a4 sheet this much a small map also you can give this will actually improve your answer writing and answer should be a flow are you if it is correct i will take this question only battle of plassey and battle of buxar so you have to give a small introduction of what is battle of plassey and flow a small introduction of what is buxar and then you have to de de uh, describe in detail why battle of plassey is skirmish and battle of plassey battle of buxar is a war and then you have to conclude this because of this because the larger impact of battle of buxar so buxar had a large impact and the number of people participated and because of this reason that the buxar was considered as a war and that of plassey is considered as a skirmish so you can you have to structure a introduction small detail jo discussion and then a small conclusion and if it's possible a small map wherever it is possible wherever it is possible not on all the answers but wherever it is possible i think i have answered your question yes ma'am thank you so much Hi, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, while you're in the exam, first question we are used to write very. Yeah. 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 We will start with the correctly manner in a calm manner. When you are going to last question, the neatness of the paper could not be maintained. And uh, while you are writing the answer, how you maintained in a paragraph manner or a point manner? You described your answer. And I have one more doubt. Uh, it is uh, better to avoid the question if you don't know, or uh, we have to create some story to attend uh, attend the question, or better to leave the question. How many questions you leave in your exam? Ma? To score a mark, or uh, better to be avoid that question is fine. I'll answer your question. Yeah, that is possible. Awesome. Uh, yeah, answer. yeah, yeah. One more. You have one more question. Uh, time management was a problem because when you if you starting a question, you can elaborate in a mind map also. When we come to last question, our handwriting will be like uh, something we we can't even understand the handwriting because of the time management. That is what my doubt. And uh, better to avoid some questions is fine or not? Okay. Okay. I understood. Yeah, yeah. I also left some question. Yeah. Uh, in GS first paper, uh, uh, I left some questions. Uh, I remember I left like two three questions which I should have not left. I should have not left, but I left uh, because I I have already told I it was my first attempt, so maybe I did some mistake. So that's nothing. But I will explain your question. When you write, obviously your handwriting deteriorate. My handwriting was I think sir also can give feedback. My handwriting was a good handwriting. मतलब I think considerably my handwriting was a decent handwriting, but as you proceed your handwriting will get it is there is nothing a problem i think it is it is everyone knows that there, but it should be readable as in you you make some uh, doctor handwriting so no one can read what you have written that should not be a case your handwriting should readable should be readable and readable is fine okay this is number 1 number 2 uh, uh, i think uh, you asked whether you will write in paragraph or point paragraph is always good because i think you have words you have to write in 100 words you have to write in 120 words paragraph is always good you have to write in paragraph but at the end of when you are proceeding towards the end of the exam if you don't have time you can go point wise also because in in, in spite of skipping question you should write i don't think so if you uh, prepare properly there is some question you, you can't be clueless that because you have options also in your question paper so as if there is no possibility that you don't have but the one point of idea on one question so there is no possibility like that so even if you don't know something about the particular but write some relevant points in that for example battle of buxar and battle of skirmish if you don't have any idea but you know what is battle of buxar and you know what is battle of uh, plassey please write small paragraph matlab in points like battle of buxar mein this these things happen battle of plassey mein these things happen in in, in spite instead of just quitting the question instead of just matlab if you are not matlab it's always better to write something write something relevant as i you cook stories don't cook stories but 
Uh, there is no possibility that you don't know anything about because you have been undergone a very tedious preparation. So you will know something about that question. So write to some point relevant, one or two, three points. Write relevant. Even if you get one mark, it is very important. But don't write stories. If battle of Plasia and battle of Pussy, you don't have any idea about what is battle of Plasia and battle of Pussy, then it is better you uh, you skip the question. But if you know some idea, something about that, you have to write one or two, three points. So this is what and time management. के बारे में you are something about time management. So if you have like uh, uh, three hours of exam or uh, I think two and a half. I don't remember exactly a three and a half hours or I think three hours of exam. And it is two fifty marks question. So you have to just check that yes. one question yes. for one question. How many time I should give? So this you should do in your answer writing it too. If it is if it is ten mark question, I have to give three minutes. If it is fifteen mark question, I have to give six minutes. If it's twenty mark question, I give have to give ten minutes. You have to do the time management before itself, and you have to do the time management for two hours forty five minutes. Don't do time management for three hours. If it is three marks for three hours question, just try to do time management for two and a half hours or two hours forty minutes. So you will have a gap of fifteen twenty minutes which you can bridge, which I did, which I did personally was I I prepared my exam for like. But now I had a bridge of fifteen to twenty minutes. I prepared like three marks, ten marks question. I will write only for three minutes, and uh, for the fifteen marks question, I will write only for do the time management and follow the time management from the very first second, which I did do in GS one because GS one me I think two fifty marks and two fifty marks we had twenty uh, five questions. Each questions was ten ten marks, so it was very difficult to do the time management. But I I did it in GS two, and then uh, we had uh, uh, I think twelve and a half marks question. So, which was easy for me to cover, but twenty-five question was very difficult to cover in three hours. So, I will uh, instruct you while you are doing answer writing itself. Do uh, keep time for one question, ten marks question, fifteen marks question, and follow it uh, through your answer writing. So, it will be easy for your main. But keep a bridge for fifteen twenty minutes. So, in any question, whether you don't have proper idea, it was easy question. You have to you have finished it in three minutes. Some question was little bit difficult. You uh, you took uh, one or two minutes extra, so you have this fifteen twenty minutes of bridge, so you can cover all the questions. So you can follow it. I hope I have answered your question. Thank you. Ma'am, that's all, ma'am. My ma class coordinator, ma'am. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, should I speak to Sarma Mukti sir also, sir? No, ma'am. He was went, ma'am. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you thank so much. You. All the best to everyone. I hope uh, you get clear soon. All the best. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am.